got to play with his quintet uh, for a while. We had a, a we played at the Iridium for a week, and then we went to Japan for a few weeks. We did a, a bunch of concerts and stuff, and it, it it's hard to like even express what it's like for a saxophone player to sit there night after night and hear what Mike was capable of doing. Um, he sort of came out of that angry tenor thing, but he wasn't angry. It was like love and happiness and and you at there wasn't a time when you take a solo um, and Shepard was there too, Bob Shepard, where at some point during that solo, as a musician sitting on the stage, you wanted to get up and start screaming, <laughs> like, what is this? And and for me, like playing with someone like that, you start the first thing that happens is you sort of almost become degraded. It's like you sit there and you think, I, I can't play. I mean, no matter what I do, I will never be able to do this, you know? Um, I should, I, it's, you'd listen to him play and it was so amazing that you'd want to start screaming, you know? And you'd feel like, boy, um, I'm never going to be able to play like that. I mean, what's, what's the point? I mean, etc., cetera, et cetera. But then, after a while, something else happened. Like, you started to feel like energized and more creative than you ever felt before. And it's almost like, kind of, I, I don't want to sound new agey, but the whole spiritual concept of sort of breaking down your ego to become someone new and different. And he was able to inspire that. I know in me, and I'm sure in many, many musicians, and I'm sure in many, many people out in the audience, and I think that was one of his great things. I mean, he was able to really bring, I think, true joy and a feeling of transcendence to people who heard him. And that's not a small thing, I mean, you know. And the thing is, if you ever knew him as a person, that's the kind of person. He was just a very giving, you know, good person. And he very supportive of, there, there was no rivalry or anything. Of course, from our perspective, there couldn't be a rivalry, <laughs> but from his perspective, perspective, he was his, his biggest critic, his biggest critic. He'd get up there and play something amazing and he'd think that it was not good. And I once, I mean, I asked his wife, I said, does he really think that? And she said, I only recall a couple of times where he came back and said, boy, I've, that felt really great. I, I mean, he was genuine with that kind of feeling, absolutely genuine.